This match is from BCW's Final Judgment 3. Check out the full show on TitleMatchNetwork.com and don't forget to hit subscribe here on YouTube for new releases every day. Fighting at Abita Ho, New York. She is the most ruthless female in all of BCW. Respectfully, though. Miss What That Larry Do, the goddess of destruction, Queen Super Savage Saiyan God. She is EOW's finest, and she wants you to know she's just using all these monikers so that she can top phase total. This is the Ruthless Lava! You know, I went to Peter Hall, New York once. Uh, interesting place. And her opponent in the corner to my left, she is fighting out of Toledo, Ohio. She is the plus-sized Pan Greer. She is thick, she likes it. She is cute in the face and thick in the waist, the queen of BCW. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Your reigning, defending BCW women's champion, Faye Jackson. The First ever, the longest reigning. She holds all the records. She is the only woman to etch her name into that championship, and she wants to continue to be the only woman to ever etch her name into that championship. I think those introductions uh, are on a DVD by themselves. I mean, I, I would put those two up against a introduction match between David Starr and Johnny Gargano. Now those two had some nicknames. Oh, they did indeed. I, I remember Gargano's fun. Oh, going right into this match. Ruthless Lala just took it right to Faye. I mean, did you expect anything less? It's Faye Jackson. The woman has Jack Ruthless in her name. I was going to say you have a... Respectfully. Respectfully, no. R right, yes. She said that after she beats Faye, that she'll take her off of tacos. Well, I guess that's something. Oh. I don't think Faye will be happy with tacos after she loses the championship. Cover by Lala, only a two count there. Again, Faye requested Lala as an opponent. She wants to prove she's, as we said, the baddest bitch in BCW. And especially coming back from Germany after having a layoff here, she didn't want, not that anybody could, be forgotten. Especially when Vanity made, uh, uh, made no, oh man. Huge oh, cross body by Faye, taking out Lala. Uh, I was, uh, was going to say, Vanity making noise uh -oh. last month, becoming the new number one contender. We know it's coming. You see Vanity, oh. uh, Vanity recording this match, scouting her two possible bookings. If Lala wins, Vanity's got to go up against Lala at some point. If Faye retains, she's got to go up against Faye. Vanity doing her homework here tonight. I mean, very smart. She's making the most out of her opportunity. She was uh, impromptu, placed into a match for the number one contendership. But hold on, let's be honest. Vanity had a match against Tasha Steeles, a one-on-one -on -one singles match. Correct. Your client, Tasha Steeles, got a little bit carried away I, and put her number one contendership on the line. That is not no, something that Vanity decided. No, no, I, I made a mistake. I meant to say uh, uh, opportunity, not... Uh, Your client. Yeah. She took advantage of an impromptu opportunity. That was the word I was looking for. And you're talking about vanity scouting, but it looks like Lala also scouted. She moved out of the way of Faye's hip attack and has been taking it to her and beating her up since then. You know, Lala coming from that those Texas Atlanta areas, training in some of the dirtiest, grimiest, hardest hitting gyms and wrestling training centers out in the South. Lala was a woman training in a wrestling school with only men. They didn't allow women until one day, Lala knocked out one of the students with one lariat and the trainer said, she's in. Didn't she say she was from Beta Hall, New York? She is. Okay. But she's trained in, in, in the South. She's choking Faye right train? now. What train do you take to Beta Hall, New York? What train do you take against Lala to try and beat her? Obviously the D train. 
obviously. You know, I would, I, I don't know. And he's going to have to trade you two to Exotica? That's the one I'd talk about. Right, exactly. I don't think she'd be, t she'd be ripping, ripping the D apart. And Lala giving Faye some chops in the corner. Gotta love the. But Faye says, uh uh. Gotta love the segue skills of one Riley Shepard. I'm trying to watch the match. I don't care about Exotica. You I'm, should. I'm scouting the women's division so for was my AJ. inevitable so I, I, return as well. I was acquiring talent as well. He was. I, I want to know who's going to win the championship belt in this match. Look, I saw that move at Exotica, which she just did. I know, I know, I know. Oh my gosh, I don't think you saw that one though. No, not at all. Uh, well, you don't know the after parties at 3 a.m. I don't but care, but there's a hip attack to Faze, Faze, Lala's right after taking a page out of Faze Double chop to Faze chest. Oh, oh now. Lala is wiggling, but Faze is up. She's showing her uh, milkshake, respectfully. Respectfully, though. Yes, respectfully. respectfully. Oh. Oh. Is she telling there's Lala something. to sit down? Oh, Why would Lala happen. listen? Why are you listening? Lala wants all the smoke. I've been on the receiving end of Lala that. Lala just got up like How nothing happened. How did she get up? My head almost got knocked clean off. Oh, and she just slapped oh. the queen. Uh-oh. That's not the way to... to oh. But she slapped her respectfully. I don't think there's a respectful but way to that, slap people. But this right now uh -oh. with Faye is doing a Lala. Second don't have level. an ounce of respect in it. Not a single ounce. No, this is next level Faye right there. Ah. She just leveled up. Take a side of this cake respectfully oh. though. Some of Jimmy Conway's powder is flowing all over the place still from this hard hitting action. Lala did not get up from that one. Cover by Whoa. Faye, but Lala kicks out at two. I don't know how. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, she missed the big bait at all. Went for the bait and landed on her knees. That had to hurt. Oh, and a oh. knee to her face. That was a knee trembler for the ages there. Oh, almost a three count by Lala. Lala almost became the BCW Women's Champion. And Vanity still watching intently, making sure she gets every bit of this match, every nuance of what these two are doing to each other. Look at that, gearing up for that lariat. The same lariat that knocked out a trainee to get her into wrestling school. You missed it. They had it scouting a spear. spear. Big spear. Jinx. Trying to pick Lala Shades up and move her into position. Up. I'm sorry? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> big fader bomb there. Cover! Wow! I ended it! Wow. What a hard hitting match. The vanity just looking now. The eye of the tiger in her eyes right now. Uh, does, she's still, she's does Faye know she's out here? This match is from BCW's Final Judgment 3. Check out the full show on TitleMatchNetwork.com. And don't forget to hit subscribe here on YouTube for new releases every day.